Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Arto and Jay's Teresa Judis says she doesn't want to be known as the table flipper. For better or worse, Teresa Judis has been the glue that has held the Real Housewives of New Jersey together since its launch in 2009. While the rest of the original cast departed, she has been on the show for 14 seasons straight and racked up countless memorable moments over the years. However, the moment that sent the ratings soaring and increased recognition for RHO and J was Teresa flipping the table during the freshman finale during a fiery argument with Danielle Stahl. It's ingrained in pop culture because it was so shocking. There was nothing quite like it on reality TV then, so it makes sense that it's still talked about all these years later. Plus, it's possible that Ari Heho and Jay wouldn't have lasted as long without everyone talking about the moment because word of mouth undoubtedly helped. In a recent interview with Us Weekly, the RHO and Jay OG explained her thoughts on the moment and how she doesn't want to be remembered for being the table flipper. Teresa seems embarrassed that her husband, Luis Rulis, is constantly reminded of her past because people say, he's married to the table flipper. Teresa is ready for a rebrand. I don't want to be known as that, but they love it, the 52-year-old shared. Of course, Teresa has been caught up in other moments on the show that have caught a lot of attention, but the table flip is definitely one of RHO and J's most defining moments. However, it makes sense that she would want to distance herself from it because it occurred so long ago. Teresa's future on Art Hale and Jay is up in the air for the first time as producers aim to give the show a revamp sorts. Details about which cast members are returning have not been determined, but the aim seems to be to remove the toxicity. Teresa has been caught up in much of that in recent years. Could Teresa return to RHO and Jay? Still, there may be bigger fish to fry, such as Danielle Cadrell and Jennifer Aiding who were both suspended from filming following a physical altercation while shooting season 14. Either way, Teresa is staying booked and busy in the off-season, which is more than can be said for some of her co-stars. She's appearing in House of Villains season 2, which premiered earlier this week. The series puts a string of well-known reality TV villains together in a house as they attempt to win a strategic and competitive game. In the world of reality television, Few moments are as iconic or memorable as Teresa Judice's dramatic table flip during the first season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, R.H.O.N.J. The now-legendary scene in which Judas lost her temper during a heated argument with former cast member Danielle Staub has become a defining moment for the show and a pop culture touchstone. The phrase, prostitution whore, echoed across living rooms and social media feeds cementing Teresa's reputation as one of the most explosive figures in the Real Housewives franchise. However, as Teresa Judas looks back on her long tenure on the show, she reveals that she doesn't want to be forever known as the table flipper. For Teresa, the label has become reductive, limiting her complex identity as a reality TV star, mother, businesswoman, and survivor of public and personal challenges. She wants fans and critics alike to see her for who she truly is, a multifaceted woman who has grown and evolved in the spotlight. The infamous table flip. To understand Teresa's desire to move beyond her table flipper persona, it's important to revisit the context of the incident. The table flip occurred during the season one finale of RHO and J, a dinner party that went from tense to explosive in a matter of minutes. The conflict revolved around the book, Cop Without a Badge, which detailed the criminal past of Danielle Stahl. Accusations, insults, and raised voices flew across the dinner table until Teresa, feeling betrayed and frustrated, famously stood up, yelled, and flipped the table in one swift, anger-fueled motion. The moment was shocking and, for many viewers, thrilling. It became the kind of reality TV moment that producers dream of unscripted, raw, and unforgettable. Overnight, Teresa became synonymous with that one explosive act, and while it catapulted her to reality TV fame, it also created a lasting image of her as a woman with a quick temper and a penchant for drama. The Burden of an Iconic Moment While Teresa acknowledges the table flit's role in her career, 
she has expressed frustration at how that single moment has come to define her. In interviews over the years, she's admitted that while it was authentic in the moment, it's not the entirety of who she is. People see that one scene and think that's me all the time, she has said. But that's just one side of me, and it was a moment I wish I could forget. Being known primarily as the table flipper has been both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, it made Teresa a household name and instantly recognizable face in the crowded landscape of reality TV. But on the other hand, it reduced her identity to a single action, often overshadowing her other accomplishments, struggles, and personal growth. Teresa has said she understands why the table flit resonated with so many people, especially fans of the Real Housebots franchise, where drama is the main attraction, but she hopes that her legacy will extend beyond just that one moment. A story of growth and resilience. Over the years, Teresa has faced numerous personal challenges that have tested her resilience. Her legal issues, including her conviction on fraud charges and subsequent prison sentence, were front and center during her time on R. H. O. N. J. Teresa served nearly a year in federal prison, an experience that profoundly impacted her and her family. Throughout this period, she remained in the public eye, with cameras documenting much of her journey, including her husband Joe Gudisa's legal troubles and eventual deportation. It was a difficult time, but Teresa had used it as an opportunity for personal growth. She had often spoken about how her time in prison allowed her to reflect on her life, her choices, and her priorities. She returned to R. T. H. O. N. J. A a changed woman more focused on her family, her personal development, and her future. I'm not the same person I was when I first started the show, Teresa has said. I've been through so much and I've grown. I've learned a lot about myself and what really matters. Despite the challenges, Teresa has built a successful career outside of the show. She has authored multiple cookbooks, launched her own line of hair care products, and become a sought-after public speaker. Teresa's business ventures have allowed her to showcase another side of herself, one that's entrepreneurial, driven, and focused on providing for her family. Moving beyond the drama, while Teresa's time on RHONJ has been filled with drama, she wants to make it clear that there is more to her than just conflict and chaos. In recent seasons, she has expressed a desire to step back from the constant fighting and focus on more positive aspects of her life, such as her relationships with her daughters, her marriage to Luis Rulas, and her business ventures. I'm at a point in my life where I just want peace, Teresa has said. I don't want to be involved in all the fighting and negativity. I've been through enough and I'm focusing on the good things now. This shift in focus has been evident in the show's more recent episodes, where Teresa appears more introspective and less willing to engage in the petty squabbles that once defined her time on RHONJ. She has also emphasized the importance of self-care and mental health, sharing her journey of healing and growth with her fans. A new legacy. As Teresa continues to evolve, she hopes that fans will see her as more than just the table flipper. While that moment may always be a part of her reality TV legacy, she wants to be remembered for her resilience, her strength, and her ability to overcome adversity. Teresa has said that she is proud of how far she has come and hopes to inspire others who may be going through their own challenges. I want people to see that I'm a fighter, but not just in the way that people think, she has explained. I'm a fighter for my family, for my happiness, for my peace. That's the legacy I want to leave behind. For Teresa, the table flit was just one chapter in her story, a story that is still unfolding. As she looks ahead, she's determined to show the world that there's more to her than a single moment of anger. Teresa Judas is ready to be known for who she truly is, a survivor, a businesswoman, a mother, and a woman who has grown stronger through adversity.